Okay, so that's two factor start to Cody Smith, Total Force Trainer. Uh, we're going to talk about something today. Uh, I have got some new goodies over the last little bit. And we're going to talk about those. Unload that bad boy. And get the other object that's going to be making a debut in here. Y'all about to help me hollering right now, I'm about to. Alright, so, we all know I like Glock pistols. Uh, well, I have a new addition. The Surefire X300 Ultra. And, let me tell you what, this bitch is bright. Alright, we're going to go ahead and get into some of that in a little bit. Another new addition I have. And I'm not going to go too close on it because my shotgun here needs work. The bolt's been pulled out of it. Uh, it it's been gutted. Uh, with the exception of the operating slide and the forearm, just so I can make sure this mount works. This is uh, from CDM gear. This whole setup on here is. It's got a, it's their BMT mount, which has a little pick rail on the side. Comes with a QD swivel socket. Uh, they sent me a QD swivel as well. Uh, which is good because I was, I was having an issue finding this thing swivel screw to. Oh, by the way, this shotgun barrel is 18 and a half inches. So I actually measured that about a dozen times. So, And also on there is the uh, Streamlight TLR1. Not the TLR1S, not the HL. 300 moments. And uh, we'll talk about that in a minute as well. The other thing is the Surefire E2DL Ultra. Uh, for those of y'all who have been following these videos for a while, you'll know I've carried an E2D. For a long time, the original E2D, and it crapped out on me uh, through no fault of Surefire's. The bulb went out, and uh, I've had issues finding another bulb. So, yeah, uh, I got me a new toy. Uh, we're going to start with this first, because I believe that any, everybody should carry a handheld flashlight all the time. Uh, we're going to start with what I don't like about this light. two-stage. Alright? I do not like two-stage tail caps because as y'all saw, if I were to slip off, I'd have to hit it again. Alright? No big for some. It's a training issue, but it could become an issue. I typically prefer a single-stage tail cap. Uh, personally, I would actually greatly prefer if Surefire would make the same light single-stage only. That would uh, I would probably jump for joy and squeal like a little girl. Uh, the features I do like, uh, I do like the uh, strike bevel, the pedalated bevel. Uh, I'm a hot keto guy, so giving me a short stick is dangerous enough. Give me a short stick with some sharp edges to it, and I'm, I'm really going to ruin your day. Uh, I like the two-way tail, the two-way uh, pocket clip. You can put it, you can clip it on something bevel up, or you can clip it bevel down. I usually carry it bevel down here. Um, I've gotten used, I've gotten a little bit spoiled, I must say, by the two-stage part because when I'm bouncing, I can do this number or, you know, give it a little, give it a little strobe motion, and I'm not moving the light now. It's actually touching my face. There you go. It does require a bit of an educated finger, but you can strobe it. It does not have a strobe mode. But I mean, I like that I can cut it on low, and I can make sure some of my is good, and then just that quick go and get to their face if I need to. Um, haven't had to do that yet, but it's, it's a skill that I practice a lot when I bounce in Fayetteville. And having the low output light, so I'm not using the high output all the time, is a good thing. Uh, if I were a police officer, this would be a good choice. I, I would probably carry this light uh, in that regard. And we'll leave the light on here. And we're going to do this again without the light shortly. You have 500 lumens. And you can't even see it on low. That is the five lumen. Okay. One more time, nice and easy. Five hundred lumens right there. Five lumens. The X three hundred Ultra. This is as it came out of the box. It's got their universal rail mount. I carry a lot. They call it the universal rail. Just slips right on. Uh, some people don't like it. You have to put your hand in front of the muzzle. Well, if 
I had an ND here, the worst thing I have to worry about is some powder burns. Okay. Uh, yeah, I actually grip the light like so, pinching it. Okay. Lay, lay it flat, and you can put that light on. You don't have to worry about your hand crossing the bolts. Uh, I'm seriously considering putting the universal rail locker on here because I've got spoiled now, and this light's not coming off of this gun. Uh, until it's time for me to swap this gun out with a new 17. Uh, push the switch, push the, it's not like a lot of light. If you rock it, either way, it locks on. Uh, I'm usually, I'm more fond, because I shoot thumbs forward, so I'm actually more fond of using my thumb instead of my trigger finger. But I do try to practice the trigger finger just because I may need to go one-handed. And you push it again, forward for momentary rocket for constant. Uh, next thing. So I'm going to show you all a little bit of brightness comparison on it. There. There. Now, the pressure switch on this is very, very sensitive. The rocker switch, rather. You actually can get it almost going like a strobe. And if you, uh, a little bit there. Now, I don't think that's a necessary feature, but again, going into the dazzling effect, maybe you get someone in your house, it can cause them to turn away, help you gain that, that compliance without having to go to gun. And we'll talk about some of the advantages and disadvantages of what's my life in a minute. Alright, next one is twofold. Again, the shotgun needs a lot of work. Uh, well, not really a lot of work. It just needs to be reassembled before it get finished. Uh, first, we're going to talk about the BMC mount. Hold on one second. I need to... Uh focus on the mount some. Anyway, uh, I can't give you a 100% review on this mount because I haven't shot it live. Again, the shotgun needs work. So we're going to go ahead and kind of show the X300 Ultra and the TLR1 side to side. TLR1, 300 lumens. X300 Ultra, 500 lumens. Alright, we'll go to the wall. TLR1, X300 Ultra. Alright, uh, the TLR1 is a good choice for light. I like its mounting system. I really like it mounted on the long gun now. Uh, I don't see anything against it being mounted on a pistol. Uh, I just prefer the Surefire just because, I don't know, I just do. Personal preference. So, next thing we're going to look at, after we darken the room now, alright, I'm a hillbilly, okay, the town I live in could easily look like something out of Deliverance, to those that ain't from around here. Alright, there's the E2DL Ultra on low, high, notice the flood beam, okay, notice how the beam is, it's very focused, but it's got a lot of extra spill. Alright, here's the light on the long gun, the, X, the TLR1, Again, fairly open beam. X300 Ultra. The beam's open, but that center is a lot more concentrated. Now, here's your TLR1. X300 Ultra just came on. If I cut the TLR1 off, there's no difference in the ambient lighting. Very, very little. I cut the X300 off, this room gets a lot dimmer. Alright, let's put the lights back on. Like I said, 
said, uh, the lights in this shop will come on by literally plugging them in. So it may take me a second on this. All right. So if any of y'all are in the market for some new lights, uh, check out the TLR one, check out the XP100 Ultra, uh, and of course check out the E2DL Ultra as well. Uh, all three will serve you well. Uh, if you're looking for a light mount for your shotgun, I uh, can't say I dislike the uh, CDM gear BMT mount. Uh, I like it a lot, actually. I really like it a lot. And uh, I'm hoping it performs as well when we start busting live rounds off and I'll start busting some number four block out of it, which is my preferred shotgun mode, by the way. Uh, hopefully it'll hang out, hang out when I start busting that Federal 34 pellet off and uh, we'll see how, how she shakes out. Uh, I've shot this Glock 17 with the X300 on it. I've shot about, uh, about 300 rounds to it now with the light. And I like it a lot. And I'll talk about that in another video. Uh, it's a part of why I like that. And E2DL, everything my E2D was, but a lot friggin' brighter. Uh, oh, so one more part that I totally forgot about. Best part. Cutting the lights back off on again. Fire Woman's ain't really that bright, is it? Right on the camera there. Again, E2DL Ultra on low. On high. Next up, Streamlight TLR1. And last but not least, X300 Ultra. consider. I hope y'all do consider those and uh, we'll talk some more about lights in my next video. Stay frosty, stay safe, stay in the fight.